what's up guys and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, today, once again, we are on the special delivery um, drive with, this time, a Renault Magnum Excellence. Taking a excavator bucket, once again between Brussels and Amsterdam, as I said on the previous video, it's the same route between Brussels and Amsterdam, but the loads change from time to time. As the previous one, I took the like a special, special kind of uh, or high tech equipment, even uh, in a Scania. That's the previous video. So, we've got a 520 horsepower 16 speed Magnum. We'll click take job and let's get to it once again. Hopefully, this time I don't clip the side of the wall as I did on a previous one. But we shall see. We get five and a half grand. So once again, some more people just going about the daily business, brushing, brushing to brushing trailer, getting all the shit off, getting all the stuff off. One guy just checking straps, checking the chains even, not the straps. Fairly, fairly good to go. So once it finishes all this cinematic, we'll jump in the cab and get us started up. There we are, exactly the same as before. Um, we'll just do a quick run through. It says you're about to walk special cargo. The two transport vehicles, one in front, one behind. Uh, they'll come up on the route advisor when we want to change lane or anything like that. Um, we don't have to stop at red signals. I have to right away in most situations. There's police cars dotting about, and we just follow the marshal of cars. Um, and it saves progress, which we'll see in the top corner more often, just in case anything happens. This, once again, avoid any conflict with escort vehicles. Pretty self explanatory. Um, <clears throat> do not drive out the estimated route, e.g., Gas stations, rest stops, not allowed in any of them. Uh, obey speed limitations, which will be ensured by a front escort vehicle, so whatever speed he does, I do. Watch out for overtaking traffic. Uh, with this, not so much. It's pretty slim. It doesn't really, as you can see in the mirror, doesn't go much past the red markers. As the previous load went quite away past the markers. Uh, watch out for overtaking traffic. Yep. And this is the change lane once again pretty similar as before so we're gonna start it up put the beacons on wipers on full lights on and yes in this very very white truck also release the handbrake so same again as before we just take it round this is the marshal of car again just blocking everybody gently make our way out, I'm sure we'll be able to use the left hand side of the road, but I don't need to. So we'll make our way down here, he'll, he'll clock again, there we go. And away we go, someone else filming us. Nice police car. Stopped really, so I've just got my wipers on for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Straight through the red light, that car once again should wait. It is a police car, so we're all good. straight through the red light which is highly unusual I'm used to having to uh, obey every single traffic light so he's going to Scarper again 
I'm going to meet him, and this time, I'm going to get close enough to him that he'll activate the rear marshal of car to come scooting up. There we go. <clears throat> and any second, you should be able to set off. Powerful this uh, this Renault truck, very powerful. 512 horsepower was it? I think it was 526. Can't quite remember, but easily enough to handle this. It's not got a retarder on this. Hmm. Although something like this, moving a heavy load, it'd have a retarder, but no. This is going to be the first uh, night one. I don't know if it's going to fully get to night time by, by the time I get there, but there's a very good possibility. Not a problem. We've got beacons on, got headlights on. All good. Changing lane once again. This time I can see the rear marshal of car. There we go, rear marshal of car has gone out, so that means I'm safe. I don't know if I need to indicate, but I'll just do it so they know what I'm doing. Very, very different weather we've got today. There's two days ago we were caked, uh, we were caked if I can talk, we were caked in heavy snow. Uh, and today we've got very, very nice blue sky. So, yeah, the weather in December is very, very unpredictable. Pretty much like it is on this. But I much prefer to see blue sky. It was nice to see snow, it was nice, it wasn't too uh, disruptive, as I'm off work as well, so I don't have to go many places, today it is Friday and I've got a trip to Hillsborough to watch Sheffield Wednesday once again, but that's later on, by a quarter to eight, but other than that, um, it's a pretty chilled out schedule, I've got to pack for next month. Get all my suitcase ready, which I've still not really started. I've got the case out, which is always a start, but that's a bad thing. I made a list, and I've crashed. I generally thought I'd restart. No! See, this is the problem. I'm going to get well, and then it screams, telling me that there's a truck, there's a fan behind me. Does the same again. I did manage to get out of it. But oh, by lots of messing about. And now I will get a tolerable rating.
I'm not going to hit him. Right, so now if I full lock. Don't start, it just don't turn enough. That is shocking. Six and a half hours later. This marshal doesn't really help either. I'm just really. Come on. You through, you through, yeah. No, it's not not pretty. Not pretty, I should have watched that edge. I've never, never ever hit that edge. Um as I hit my flight yoke with my hand as I try and itch. Um it's definitely night time now, so we can blame it on the uh, blame it on the on the darkness. And me not checking my mirrors enough while I'm talking. But yeah. I've made a list of the things I need, which is always a start. It's just a case of getting them done. But I'll get back to concentrating as we don't want another crash. good about that I wanted an excellent I wanted another excellent trip so we've got at the minute if it's gonna do what I think it's gonna do we've got two excellents and two tolerables which when with an excellent and a tolerable for the times I weren't recording and now it's gonna be an excellent and a tolerable for the time or tolerable if I could talk the times that uh, I was recording so consistency is the key. Something that I'm definitely failing at with my uh, YouTube uploads at the minute. Consistency is definitely not the key. Well, fingers crossed that will pick up. change lane. So I think this one will be going to the left. Are we turning off? Oh, he's going to warn no traffic whatsoever because they're all behind me. Unless he's warning oncoming traffic which are merging. It could very well be. No. Nope. Nobody's passing me at the minute so I'm a little too cautious I think. Well, it's better to be too cautious than doing what I did earlier and just crash into a barrier. Trailer damage six percent now. I've just I've not hit anything else. Thank you for uh, just mugging me off a little bit. It's like oh by the way you you did damage your trailer. Right, thank you. So we've got a right turn here, which because the rear wheels turn on the trailer, it's 
not as difficult as it seems. It just kind of follows me around. This is a bit I've got stuck in the past. So I'm just going to run that a little bit wider with this actual type of trailer as well. So we handled that like a boss. This just seems too slow for me. About like 37 mile an hour. I know it's a heavy load and everything and it's a big load, but surely we could do just a little bit quicker. Unless that's a governed speed for something like this, that you have to do that. That speed, the 37 mile an hour. to move over once I get out of this tunnel yeah, it's gonna tell me to see that should be a little bit wider than it's actually telling me instead of telling me off it should give me just a little bit in like tunnels because it's all right and program it programming I ain't really really struggling to talk today I'll try that again Um, I know it's programmed um, and tested enough that they think, oh, that's alright. But when you're driving in here, everybody's different. Everybody does different things to each other. I'm speeding next to a policeman uh, or woman. So, yeah, each driver does it their own way. So, some might like getting close to stuff and risking it, others might like a little bit further away. Me personally, I just prefer not to crash. That's my big. Plus, and why are we struggling so much up the hill? Come on, you've got 500 and something horsepower. Should be easy. Past the airport once again. still not gone to Italy on this yet. I've got the DLC uh, that's been recently released but yeah I've not actually gone there so I think eventually there'll be uh, some videos with uh, or themed around Italy as I just drive around taking it's probably not going to be very very long runs but just exploring because with the pictures that SCS were releasing it looked incredible um, I know on various parts of the map, I think to do with pro mods as I mentioned before, uh, they've got, although they're having issues with a uh, map, it's just clear, you don't get any textures, you don't get any, if it's, a, if it's a green hill, it just becomes clear, so they're probably working on that and bringing out another update. This is awkward because I can't see my trailer with it being dark, but if we keep keep it right to this side, I don't think we're going to have any problems. Because like I said, the trailer has rear turning axles, so they'll follow me around as I turn, which it has done. Lovely stuff. This would have been an absolutely faultless trip if it weren't for that crash early on. I'm almost certain it's going to say intolerable now, or tolerable, should I say, not not, not intolerable. I panicked a little bit then when I saw that barrier. I thought, not again, please, not again. Because that's the only thing the um, martial art car doesn't understand when you've crashed. So, the car just stays there. I know we're a little bit stuck seeing as it's got a double line of traffic next to it, so I can't really kick off it too much. And it's not like it can turn a highway or motorway of traffic back just because of my idiotic driving. Newcastle. What? 
I think I took a wrong turn in Albuquerque. Alright, let's spin that round. Oh, way too much. That spun way too easy. That really did spin. Very, very, very quickly. So once again, the Marshall car as we go up here, even though the road now seems quieter than it has been, but there's some cars. He's going to go into the middle of the road once again. The cars will slow down, unless you're a white van, where you just go, nope, that's not happening. I do what I want. So all you have to do is go up this road, turn left, and then park into the bay straight ahead. How hard can it be? We are just where this police car is. We turn not the first gate but the second gate. There's a coach that should just automatically wait in. Thank you very much. Oh. Nice little friendly flash of headlights. That marshal of vehicles like, I don't care if you're being nice, I'm just blocking you anyway. So straight in. Why does it turn so quickly? Right. Come on. Straight through. And then flashing white beer and we are done once again. Probably one sided again. I always seem to park one sided. And there we go. So, parking brake on, beacons off, lights off, and engine off. We'll press Y on the controller and expecting it saying tolerable. So, there we go. Oh, reasonable. Alright, still not brilliant, got a damage penalty for that, so not really earned much from it, but never mind, still level 5, school rank, yeah, we've got some nice HP and stuff like that for this profile, uh, but yeah, that's the end, is there any more, just have a quick look, uh, no, see, they seem to be few and far between these. I don't know why. They must just put some in now and again, it seems. Which would have been nice if they were just a long list uh, of varying, varying worth. But, yeah, that brings to the end another video. Hope you enjoyed that one. Subscribe if you're new and want to see more. Uh, leave a like or leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I shall see you very, very soon. Thank you very, very much for watching. And bye-bye.